Hi guys, it's Mix from the Mix Creation team. I know most of you, you look forward to cold security guard jobs. Yes, in these Gulf countries. For example, we talk about Qatar itself. By the way, have you ever wondered why most of us, at most times, we do not get the security guard visas? And yet, this would look one of the easiest job to get with the little or minimum qualifications for you to be given a security guard job or to be hired by a company. But the question is, why is it that sometimes some of us fail to get the visa or we get the offer later, but still we cannot get the visa or the visa can be not be processed to us? There's a lot of things that you need to understand or there's a, a, some few things that definitely as yourself you need to understand. Yes, by the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider subscribing and supporting. Share to the newcomers and those that are living in the country. This is a very important information. Yes, let us look at what you call security guard interview questions. Yes, most people or oh, we've talked about security interviews and they look something very simple or it may look something simpler for you. When you have to say it out, security guard interviews. But what do you need to know? Yes, for any interview, you need to prepare yourself, which I presume for any job that you go for, for an interview, you need to prepare well yourself for that interview. Because what you need to understand, you are not the only one person applying for that job. However much the job may look a little bit very easier, the qualifications may not be that given to a higher that the minimal qualifications, but remember, you are not the only one that needs that job. And that is exactly what happens. Most agents get to recruit us from wherever we are coming from for our countries. They will take us through, through what you call the first stage of interviews. Yes, starting from your country. To those that have been lucky enough, you get the sponsor or that company that is recruiting and will hire you or interview using what you call Skype which is not happening right now, which is not the case. Or most of the recruiters or most of the people, companies hiring now, they will move directly to your home country. They would want to see exactly who is that person they are recruiting, which is quite very important. Well, in this video, we are going to look at how better you have to prepare for yourself for security interview and for any other interview, let's say, for example, you have, you're have coming to this Gulf and it's your first time to come into this country. The, sub, the sponsor or the company that is recruiting you is coming to your own country. What are you supposed to do? Yes, uh, one of the things that you need to do is research about the company. Yes, this may be in two different forms. Let's say, for example, you are hiring or you are looking for a security job and you are within Qatar or within that country that you are in, let's say Dubai or any, try to research little about this company. We are all in a world of what we call the technology, where you can access the information. And how we can access the information? We can Google out and we can access that information, which is quite very important. So research, number one, research about that company. Let's say, for example, this is an agent is recruiting from your home country. Try to befriend that agent. Ask the agent what is the name of the company if once he tells you the name of the company go to google try to search out the company try to search a little bit of that information about the company you never know it may be one thing that is going to let you move or it's going to make you move and get that visa or get selected by that sponsor selected by that person interview in a very fast spot then to prepare what you call your resume prepare your cv prepare resume I don't know matter whatever you have to write. But most of us do write CVs or write resumes, but you cannot even explain it yourself. You write things that are not real, or you let someone else write for you what you cannot even read, what you cannot even memorize, what you cannot even say out in case you are being asked a question. And most of the questions that we see, for example, if you go to a normal security interview, they will ask those questions based on what you wrote down in your resume or what you wrote down in your CV, which is quite very important. So most of the times, 
if we are writing this CV, at least, let's say for example, you cannot write it out. Someone else is trying to write it out. Make sure at least you know little of what is being included in that CV. It's going to help you. You never know if this is the one lucky question that is going to be asked to you and it's going to come from that resume. What are you going to say? Are you going to say lie? No, you definitely need to say what exactly is in that resume. Hope I'm trying to share with you. A little bit of tips for those people that are planning to join a vertical security job if you're planning to come as a newcomer because now the situation that we have is not the normal situation that was there before people interview you are interviewed asked physically and they'll look at you the person they are interviewing all these things of skype they never exist anymore if they're really going to hire you and get you into that company then you look at number three, look at what you call your references. What we call a referee or what you call a reference. Someone who can back it up, someone who can back you up. Let's say for example, I would sign in for your reference and you did not inform me that you are just putting my name, my phone number on your resume and I'm not aware. What do you expect if someone calls me and is asking, oh, he needs more information or clarification or information about you? Would you think I'm going to say something that definitely you not tell me to do or to you not inform me? Most of the time we've got referees or references to those CVs, but we've not let these people that you know that we are searching for jobs and you're looking for jobs. But all of a sudden, just because you know the person, you just indicate your name or you indicate his name or his mobile number. Probably when they get me an hour or they ask me when I'm not prepared, I would say I don't know this person. So you end up losing it all. So before you put anyone on your CV or you put anyone on resume, try to talk to this person, you know, I'm so and so and I'm looking for a job. I want to use you as my reference in case anyone asks you about me. You definitely know how you can explain about me and you know me. You know how I work. Please. You can give more clarification to me such that I can be called for interview. That is really very good. It's a bright way that you've tried to let the person know. So most of that time, try to prepare what you call your references. People who are going to talk, people who know how you work, people who will say, we know this guy is good, he can do the job, he can do the work, and he's capable for that position. There may be two or three people, depending on what the company, depending on what they are asking. Some job applications that we put, they may ask for five people. Some may, may ask for three or some may ask for two depending on that kind of situation. So you put those people that you think they're not going to betray you and those people that you think you've talked to or you've told them exactly that you are applying or you're looking for a job or you're applying for different jobs. Okay. Then we look at number four is how you do you dress is quite very important. Don't dress like as if you're going to the bar. Don't dress like as if you are going to a party or you're going somewhere. Dress what you call a professional way. Dressing a professional way for an interview, for a security guard interview, in case this person is coming to your country to recruit. You don't have to dress like you do. You, are, you have to put on expensive clothes. It's not the case. But how you tied up yourself is quite very important. And how you present yourself when you're dressing. I may dress something that is a little bit cheaper. But I'm presentable, I'm well knit, and I'm well groomed. Which is very important. Then, show up in time. Let us look at number five. Show up in time, which is very important. You are called for any interview at three o'clock or eight in the morning, but you come at 30. What do you expect? There's a lot of people waiting outside. Remember most of this time, we've, the, most of these places where we go for an interview, there's what you call registration lists. They will register those people that came first and you end up missing out for the interview. Which definitely, you need to understand as a new person, if you're looking for that job, let's say for example, you're looking for a security job or you're looking for a cleaning job and you are being called for an interview. That is part of an interview coming. Keeping time is part of an interview. It's going to show to this recruiter who the kind of person you are, the nature. Are you going to be reporting late? Yes. That could be the case. 
So make sure that you show us in time, 30 minutes earlier. Then, let us look at the body language. It's quite very important. You're being called in front of those interviewers. What is your body language? Are you standing leaning? Are you standing back being? Are you standing straight? Stand straight. Look into the eyes of the people asking you the question. That is the confidence we are looking at. The confidence of the person. Even the person interviewing you, if he's to ask you very many questions, he will know that you're confident enough and you can deliver. He will not give you the kind of questions that is not give you all those kind of questions that you think is going to, to make your head bulge up. He will give you a few of them because he knows you are already confident enough. Okay? Then, show your personality. The last one is show your personality. Okay? Be confident. Be yourself. Be that kind of nature. Be that person. Be that person. If you are to ask, you can still ask a question. If there's something that you don't understand, do not accept something that you don't understand. Just to make this person believe that you've answered a bulge of all questions, but how do you definitely get to understand this person, understands your personality of the person is going to recruit? That's why you find most of them, most of you, or most of us, or most of you that have been called here for interviews, then you end up losing a teeth all in one way or the other. The testimony I can give for myself or the testimony I can give. The last application, the 99th application I applied somewhere. I was called for an interview. Just within 20 minutes, I was already approved. Because I did not go there. I went there that I need the job and I want the job. And that was my NM. And I was like, everything that had to go there in front of these people to interview me, I must be this person that they are going to see that is capable and is the one that can take up this position. And that is exactly what happens. Thank you so much for coming to this channel. I'll give you all this information. And if it's your first time coming to this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's the only way that you'll be updated when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for coming out to this channel. It's Max from the Max Creation. See you again in the next video.